Uh, the reading I'm going to do today is on Meghan Markle and the surrogacy rumours. I know that a lot of very good tarot readers have already read on the subject, but it's something that really interests me. I followed the story very closely from the start of her relationship with Prince Harry. I think it's an arch archetypal story. And it's something that I am going to be delving into quite a bit on this channel when it is appropriate to do so. I have to say for legal reasons that I am looking into the surrogacy rumors. Uh, they are just rumors. This reading is for entertainment purposes. Um, it is no, by no means an allegation against her. This is purely for entertainment and anything that comes out here is just rumor and speculation it is not intended to be construed as fact so having got that out the way i'm using the radiant wise tarot i will tell you about the card positions when i read the, each card and we'll see what the tarot has to say on the subject today um underlying energy is the page of pentacles a baby card a baby card earth sign baby in particular that would be archie oh, allegedly he was born during taurus season and uh, so there it is we're reading very clearly um about babies and about news because pages are communication so news about babies so first card out over here just describes the energy around the situation and what comes out is the knight of pentacles in the reverse um this for me is a prince harry card knights of princes um and it's an earth uh, an earth sign prince harry is an as a virgo this is describing harry um it's describing somebody who has not been stable, has not made sufficient progress on his life path, on his life journey. And I apologize for the whining in the background. If you can hear it, it's my husky. Um, this is somebody who has not been honorable, who has been underhanded and deceitful. And I actually have a question about Harry further on in this reading, but he's come right out here as the alleged father of these children. There is somebody who's not being honorable, who's not being steadfast, who's not making good progress in his journey as a father, as a parent, as a husband. Um, there's something very off about the energy right out the gate. That card is telling me that there, you can see it a bit better, but anyway. Um, Big question, uh, not to beat around the bush. This card is my, did she or didn't she use a surrogate for at least one of her pregnancies? And I am getting the judgment card. I'm getting that as a big, loud yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, there is the angel in heaven and there is the mother and the father and the child being enthralled to the trumpet that is sounding, to the deus ex machina, you could say, to outside influence, to somebody else being the instrument of their entry into a family life. Um, and it's being broadcast. It is being made public right now. Um, it's a judgment on them. It's a judgment on Harry and Meghan and this child. Um, in the card, I'm getting that as a big loud yes. You're welcome to tell me in the comments if you disagree with me, but that's how I read that card. Um, so this card here is a follow-on from this one. If she did, and I'm going to say that for these purposes, allegedly, uh, she did use a surrogate for at least one of her pregnancies. How does Harry feel about it? Wow, I'm getting the Ace of Pentacles. Money. Absolutely, he's delighted. Um, he's able, he thinks, to escape out of that gate, out of that gilded arch. Well, it's not gilded, but it's floral arch. Out of that floral arch to the mountains of Southern California and to money. He's going to merchandise, merchandise this child. He's going to make money out of this child. Um, he possibly, at some stage, thinks 
that he is going to even sell the story of this child. So there's no shame here. There is no recrimination. There is the idea of somebody being less than steadfast, less than well-intentioned in this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And here it is. This is about money. This is about a brave new start. Um, the idea being sold. Um, hey, we can do this and we can make money out of it. We can go on our new journey together as a family somewhere else with this child, with this egg. I mean, the pentacle is an egg in a womb, in someone else's womb. It's so clear here, being offered. I could get graphic about the gate, but I won't in, in biological terms. I'll spare you all of that. Um, but clearly, he is thrilled and delighted and sees it as a fantastic opportunity, as a new start on his path. It hasn't gone so well from the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, but the intention is money, success, news, um, uh, new journeys. Um, my next question for the tarot is if she did use a surrogate, and we're getting confirmation from these cards anyway, will the news be made public in such a way that everybody will be forced to believe it, even the sugars who believe all kinds of things about her? Um, I'm getting a big fat yes. Two of cups, two of cups in reverse. Two of cups is the happy couple. Two of cups in reverse, the happy couple break up. The news is going to come out when the happy couple split. As soon as, well, it could be, you know, chicken and egg. Uh, maybe the news splits the happy couple. Maybe the happy couple split and then the news comes out. But for sure, the news is going to come out for these two little lovebirds and their manufactured pregnancy, pregnancies. Um, what is the outcome going to be for them in the public eye? And we get the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, the public is not going to take kindly to them, to this news when it comes out, not at all. They're going to lose all of their deals. They're going to lose all of their financial deals that they've got with Netflix and Spotify. And Harry is the chimpo of that startup, um, mental health startup, their um, patronages, the, the ones they've still got, their, their airs and graces and fancy titles that they still have, um, the money that is coming from Prince Charles. I'm getting this as Prince Charles doling out arms to the beggars, the two beggars in Montecito, excuse me for mis mispronouncing the word. The money is going to run out. The money is going to run out. The support is going to run out. They're going to be literal beggars after this. When this news comes out, it's going to go very, very, very badly for them. Um, I think that reading was pretty clear. I don't think I need to clarify anything. Um, if you've got any comments, any questions, please leave them for me. And I will take a look and get back on the next one.